Welcome to this e-learning tutorial video designed to help Earlham and Caddishead Academy students access Teams from home. In order to access Microsoft Teams, you're first going to need to go to office.com on any web browser, Safari, Edge, Google Chrome, whichever you want to use. Go open it up, op go to the top of the page and type www.office.com. When you get there, click sign in. You're going to need to sign in with your school email address. Your school email address is your username at earlmancaddishead.org.uk. Your username is the year you joined the school, the first letter of your first name and your surname. So if we're in year, year 7, it will be 20, the first letter of your first name, say J, and then your surname, say for example, Bloggs, if your name was Joe Bloggs, and then at earlmancaddishead.org.uk. Your password is the password that you use for school. All of this information should be recorded on the logins page of your planner. If you have any problem at all with this, please contact your form tutor or your computing teacher and they'll be able to help you. If you are working remotely via home learning, please ask a parent or carer whose details are registered on the school system to email inquiries at earlmancaddishead.org.uk to help you with this step. Once you've put your login details to hand, click and you've typed it in, click sign in. This will take you to this page which checks if you are happy to stay signed in. It's fine to say yes. When you get to this page, it is a welcome page. You'll know you've signed in properly because it should say your name up here. I'm using a test account, so it says 18 test, but yours will actually display your name up here. On the left hand side, you've got links to lots of different apps. Here we've got free versions of Word, Excel and PowerPoint, which you can use without having to install anything at home. You can just click them and they'll open your browser. You've also got Outlook, so you, this is what we use in school for emails. So you can use this to access your school email, contact your teachers and, and communicate from home remotely. We've also got OneDrive. In school, all of your files are saved onto your OneDrive. This means that when you are working from home, you can log in to office.com, click the OneDrive, and you can find any documents that you've been working on. This enables you to seamlessly switch between working at home and working at school. You can finish off things that you started at home in school and vice versa. Crucially today, though, we want to look at Teams. So we want to find the purple app near the bottom with the little white T on it. Clicking Teams. It takes a couple of seconds to load. But when, you, when it does load up, what you should see is a sequence of squares, each one representing a class that you are a member of. Normally as well, you'll get this little pop-up box. It's fine to dismiss it. Each one of these squares, as I said, represents a class that you are a member of. It shows the year you, you are studying in. So we're in 2020 right now. So the academic year 2020-2021. So we, it starts 2020. And then the class that you are a member of, this test student is a member of 9x1. And then for each square, it will have two letters. The CO stands for computing, FR, French, MU, music, and so on for all the different subjects that you study. You may also have additional groups for things like your head of year sending announcements, your form tutor wanting to get in touch, or maybe even any co-curricular clubs that you're a member of. Let's have a look at this computing page now. Here I can see posts first of all. It shows things that my teacher has wanted to send me messages about. It also shows me any assignments that I've got coming up. This can be a really handy place to stay on top of everything that's going on. You can also react to things that have happened with these emoticons here and you can reply posting messages if you need to. This can be a handy way of asking questions in lessons, particularly if you're working remotely from home. At the top here, we've also got a tab called Files. If we click on Files and then click Class Materials, you'll find all the lesson materials for every single lesson that you've had so far this year and perhaps even some that are coming up. This is how you would follow along with your lessons at home if you're having to work from home for whatever reason. So you can see here, there have been four lessons of computing so far this academic year. Each one is listed with the date and as more lessons take place, they'll be added to this folder. If you need to submit work to your teacher, you'll want to submit an assignment. If we go to assignments here, we can see that there is an assignment due. It's a piece of classwork and I'm being asked to hand in my multimedia presentation. 
It's got a deadline date of the 18th of November and I've also got a time by which it's due. If I click on that assignment, I can see some more detailed instructions. There is also a place to add my work. If I've read through the instructions I'm, and I'm ready to submit my work, I'll click this Add Work button. I can choose to add work either from the OneDrive that's associated with my, my student account or from the device that I'm working on. On this occasion, I'm going to upload from this device. When I do this, I can see all the different areas on my computer. If I click on Documents, here's my climate change presentation that I want to include. I'm going to click Open and a little green bar shoots across to show me that that's loaded. Once that's gone across, I can click Done. It will attach my piece of work to my assignment and then I must remember to click the Hand In button. Right now, my teacher can't see this piece of work. It's only me that knows this. I've attached this to this assignment. So only when I click Hand In, that that piece of work then gets sent to my teacher. I get a little funky animation to tell me that it's happened and I also get a notification here saying that it was handed in and the date and time it was handed in at. To stay on top of what assignments you've got due, it can be useful to use the Assignments tab on the left hand side. This shows you all the assignments due for every subject, not just each individual one, and can save you having to click through all of your classes every single night. You've also got a calendar. Your calendar will display your timetable. It doesn't display one for this particular account that I am on because it is a test account, but when you log in you should see your timetable displayed here. You can also use the activity button. The activity button is, serves as a notifications page and what it does is it, it notifies you every time something happens within your lessons. So if you receive an at mention as happened here for this entire computing class or if you receive an assignment it will appear here. It is still worth going through and checking the posts on each individual's team page uh, as you're going through though just to make sure that you aren't missing anything. I hope you found this video useful. If you do have any further questions about how to use Teams, please do get in touch with either your computing teacher or your form tutor who I'm sure will be more than happy to help.